While Tommy and I were hunting on the Denali Highway with my brother, my wife Rebecca grabbed our son Nathan and a GoPro and went to Seward, Alaska to hike Exit Glacier with my family. And they had a wonderful time. He's a good boy. I am home. I am showered. I actually smell half decent. And I'm back with my lovely wife. And we're going to go out and get some food. How's that sound, babe? Let's do it. I'm hungry. <laughs> and the boys are with Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> Okay, we're here at the fire tap and this place is known for their pretzels. They not only they have these awesome homemade pretzels, they have pretzel sandwiches which are pretty wicked. Oh, also got some mine. good uh, pizzas as well. You guys hungry? Very. <laughs> Been a long day. I'm tired, are you? Tired. Alrighty, we got ourselves some pretzels. Let's check out these pretzels. Ooh, these are good. There's a big fat pretzel sandwich there. That's, uh, I think, yours. No, no, no. Here, I spilled cheese. No, no. <laughs> While every trip to Alaska involves hunting and fishing and adventures, the real purpose of this vacation was to see family. My kids have about 20-something cousins, and most of them live in Alaska, and they adore being able to see and play with their aunts and uncles and cousins. <laughs> One of the highlights of this trip was being able to see my grandparents. Uh, both of them are in their 90s and they have been living in Alaska since before it was a state. 
and they love to see our kids, and our kids love to see their great grandma and grandpa. Show, gran show grandma your dinosaur, <laughs> your, your dragon. Hugging, so hang, let's go home. Oh. <laughs> and fall. Did you get up to the cabin yet? Oh yeah, the silvers were running. Let's go get you some winter gear, buddy. If you need serious cold weather, bad weather fishing gear, Big Rays, Army, Navy, and Anchorage is a good place to go. So we're gonna get Nathan here some uh, decent cold weather gear for this winter. Nathan, come here. Looking good there, buddy. What? Over here? Over here, Nathan. I love Carhartt. They make sizes for big men. This is a large. I'm six foot five and I'm wearing a large tall. What I love about this place is they got cold weather gear and big boy sizes. This is size 14 socks, man. You know how hard these are to find? And they got them on sale, like a bag of them for 13 bucks. Love this. Just put it in your mouth and you want me to put the sticker on your shirt? Okay. Oh, you're so buff. Oh, yeah, look at these. <laughs> I love these things, but I have absolutely no use for them in Virginia, and it makes me a little sad. <laughs> Some nice knives down there. Yeah, nice. You like that rod? That's a good fishing rod. That is a good. I like the color too. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go fishing for halibut here Saturday. Thank you very much. Come on, Nathan. How you go? You got it. There you go. Yeah. All right, well, we're heading up to Palmer. We're gonna go hit the Alaska State Fair. We've got Grandma and Grandpa, Tommy, Nathan, Aunt Melanie, Mom and Dad. It's gonna be a wild time. They're gonna bleed us for every dollar and cent we have. He's watched My Little Ponies many times, so he, you know, he's pretty much an expert. All right, you ready? <laughs> Having fun, Tommy? Yeah. Hey. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, well, hold on, Tommy. You gotta listen. You got a ride and a rodeo. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a cowboy hat, doesn't he? Happy hat. <laughs> Are you excited to go ride the pony? No, we have pony. I got horse. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Is that fun? Oh, look at that, Ed. I like horse, Daddy. You rode a horse. I like horse. Look at that! Mm -hmm. Look at that! Look at that! 
Now that's a snapping turtle right there. That's an alligator. I'm pretty sure that's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. That's an alligator snapping turtle. That big pavilion we passed on the way in actually has all the Oh, I love Alaska where you can get a camo jacuzzi tub. All right, it's time to play some serious midway games. Let's do this. Try to protect yourself. Woohoo, Nathan! Oh, you know, Tom. Now you gotta share that with Nathan. You like the cotton candy? Yeah, I never tasted it. Mmm, it's good, huh? Uh, Becca, you having a good time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you like this color? Of course, that's beautiful. Go for it. Gotta get my obligatory Alaska grown t shirt. Yeah. There you go. Look at that big cow poop. Hold on, don't chase it, don't chase it. Gentle Nathan. That is a rutabaga, my friends. Well, we've been here for about five hours and we've only seen about half the things there are to see here. This is a big fair. But uh, we're tired and the uh, kids are melting down, the sugar high is wearing off. So uh, we're gonna call it a day, but it's been fun. another beautiful day here in Alaska and we're gonna go get some donuts all right you guys ready to go get some donuts mm -hmm. yeah! yeah all right we're here at Golden Donuts in Anchorage Alaska this place is an establishment it used to be an old bank so we're going through the drive-through window yes. and pizza oh. 
look at that. Woo, that's a good looking batch of donuts right there. That's good stuff, isn't it, boys? Mm. Are you guys ready to go gold mining? Yeah. All right, let's let's head out to the car. Glad his dad was there. Well, here we are at the Crow Creek Mine, and we're gonna do a little gold mining. It's unfortunately uh, a bit wet. So, <laughs> we'll see how long this lasts, but uh, we're gonna go give it a go. We got our rain gear, and we're gonna, we're gonna man up and get ourselves some gold. All right, guys, come on, come on. All right, well, I need your help, guys. You get, if you guys are gonna be gold miners, you need to hold on to your gold pan. Keep going, guys. Good job. Stay close, guys. There's bears around here. All right, guys. You ready to mine some gold? Yeah. Oh, we're going to be miners. Okay, I am not an expert miner, but gold is heavy and you it settles down into cracks and crevices and bedrock. Now, right here, you've got this big sheer rock wall and you can see all this sediment pushed up against the rocks for when the creek floods, it washes crap up against here and then it would settle down. So my best theory is we get the loose rock up against here. And we checked that. That's where I would go. And then we got a little bit of bit water here for our sluice box. So let's set up the sluice box first. Okay, got a pretty good current going through our sluice box. Let's go get some pay dirt. Over here. Nathan, are you okay? There, yeah, that's it. See? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah! Put that in there, yeah. Got a bucket of pay dirt. Oh. Grab a handful of dirt and put it in the front of the sluice box. Like this, see what dad's doing, see? Take a handful of dirt and sprinkle it like this, right here, in the front, okay? Yeah! Okay, go for it. You okay there, bud? There's a piece right there. Yeah, that's gold. You see that? Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Alaskan gold. Oh, there's another piece. Well, it's pouring down rain and the boys have fell in the water, which is very cold and uh they're done so <laughs> about uh, what 45 minutes of gold uh, gold padding got a few flakes mission accomplished <laughs> let's go get lunch yeah let's go get lunch it's a little wet out here it's a little wet Is that your face? Oh, oh, is it gonna stick that way? Ah! Look at the size of that no, no, don't know this is Holy but I'll take this since he may or may not have touched <laughs> ah. Get out to the car. Come on. Do 
you want to drink the water from the pipe? So after all that rain and gold mining, we are excited for some food. So we went to the Moose's Tooth with the local restaurant here and we got an apricot chicken pizza and macaroni cheese with reindeer sausage pizza. So yeah, if you like super funky gourmet pizzas, check out the Moose's Tooth. Great place to eat here in Anchorage. Nathan, are you sitting in a bin? <laughs> Our kids absolutely adore their aunts and uncles and grandparents and cousins, which is fabulous because that meant babysitting. On this trip, Becca and I celebrated our 16th wedding anniversary. So I did something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. I took Becca up to the Seven Glaciers restaurant on top of Mount Alaska in Kurdish. It was a wonderful way to celebrate what has been the best adventure of my life, being married to Rebecca for 16 years. Good root beer? Good root beer. Excellent. Fanciest root beer I've ever had. This is a raw halibut wrapped in king crab. Look at that. That is hot chaw. Look at that salmon with the okonomiyaki and a kimchi sauce. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby, huh? You know how to take care of my woman. Right here. Ooh, this is good stuff right there. Look at that. Looks looking good, babe. Oh, look at your steak here. Oh, that's it looks really very good. nice. Very nice. I think I'm ready to try steak again after previous incidences this week. Good. Oh, this is crystal. Good. Oh, it's, it's good. really good. I've it's never good. seen a dish this small. It's cute. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's really good. Good. Look at that beauty. And then we got to bake to Alaska because we're in Alaska. <laughs> Happy anniversary, baby. Happy anniversary. You have a good meal, baby. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, check out part four of our Alaskan adventure. And if you haven't done it already, don't forget to check out parts one and two as well. We put out new videos every week, so don't forget to click subscribe to the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. And if you'd like to see more fishing videos with tips, tutorials, and cooking recipes, check out the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel as well. Thanks. This is what happens when you leave your GoPros alone!